Right, Dave, beaten again, unfortunately. Third loss in a row. Your thoughts on that one today? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is beginning to look like a league within a league. Uh, works up, you know, I know most of their players, I know the experience that they've got. They're, they're not at the top of, near the top of the league uh, for no reason. Uh, so we knew it was going to be a difficult game today. Uh, which all games are difficult at this level, at this moment in time, with the personnel that we've got. Uh, so, I I actually thought, uh, obviously, the first half we played against the wind, we could have been three or four down at half-time. Uh, second half, you know, we spoke about the problems and how, we, how better we were going to address it second half. And I thought for 10 or 15 minutes, you know, we were putting them under pressure. But again, we shoot ourselves in the foot with a counter attack by them. And uh, we've just said to the players in there, these teams that we're coming up against with the experiences we've got seem to have that little bit more now than what, what we have at this moment in time. And again, today was was exactly that. Uh very experienced, works upside. That look on another day, we might have got something out of the game. But again, uh, disappointing that we've we've come away with no points. Do you think then moving forward we need to become harder to beat for sides conceded in the twelfth minute today? I, I mean, if I if I'm being critical, Luke, of uh, I think we've been a little bit too open, and that that's me. Uh, we're playing. Connor and Tyrese, and on the day they can be unplayable. But unfortunately, as young lads, uh, that day isn't every every game. In fact, it's probably not every one every other game at this moment in time. So maybe we've got to look at playing just one, and try and be a little bit more solid uh, as a as a team. Uh, so that's something that we're we're we're, we're going to definitely look at next week. Was it a more positive performance then from Marine last weekend? Did you see any other work that you've done in training in this week's game? Yeah, and I think, look, we're, we're trying to get bodies in all the while to, to improve because we know we need some better personnel in. It's not that easy, uh, but we're, we are making inroads to that. Uh, look, we're, we're, we're fighting. Uh, I would like to play a little bit more football, but at this moment in time where we are in the league, uh, we can't do that. Sometimes we've got to play percentage football, but the teams we're coming up against are very, very experienced. And I just thought today, if we'd have had a little bit of lady luck, maybe we'd have got something out of the game, but all in all, you know, they, they were stronger than us today. Unfortunately, maybe a case of the table doesn't lie. 13 games left then for the remainder of the season and we go we welcome Ilkeston next weekend what will need to be better then going into this one uh, when we welcome them next Saturday well we've got to start scoring goals again uh, I spoke to the players uh, in the week about I think when we had the, the two victories we scored seven goals without conceding and I think now the next eight goals have been scored by the opposition so We've got to find a way again to start scoring goals. Um, goals change games. I think this is a team that, if we score the first goal, it it becomes uh, we become a lot better. I think when we can see, we, we look fractured, and you know whether because they've, they've been beaten that many times this year uh, is another thing. But look, the first goal is massive. But I still think we. We can improve. We can improve the players that we've got. We've just got to keep going, Luke. We keep going into next Saturday, Dave. Thanks for your time, as always. Okay.